yogis, we're here today and we're talking about Kapatasana. Very difficult backbone in the second series. So, Daria, come to your shins. Okay, so a couple of the techniques to help you get into this. The first thing is, is when you reach back, the first thing that you're going to do is Kapatasana B with straight arms. It's not really Kapatasana B, but you're going to use the straight arms to get your chest a little bit higher so that you have space to walk your hands in. So let's get there. Hips stay forward, legs stay strong, arching the back, and bringing the hands down. Okay, so from right there, you want to straighten the arms. You want to keep the chest going up, and the arms are going to remain strong as well as the legs. And then once you start to do this posture, what you want to do is actually walk to the outside of your feet, and the elbow is going to move in an internal, external. So you're going to bring it outside, and then you're also going to bring it inside, and then you reach forward in a diagonal line towards your heel. So let's get this hand. The elbow is angled a little bit out. That's external rotation. You're going to take the elbow and you're going to move it to internal rotation, and then the opposite hand comes in, and you go at an angle, grab your heels, and then you put the the elbows down. It's five breaths here, three, four, and five. And then release your heels, straight arms, keep your legs really strong, and your hips are coming forward, still pressing in your, in your arms, and then you're going to come up. Yogis, I think one of the easiest ways to learn how to do this posture is that connection with your legs and your hands. Keep your chest up so that your hands have a way to walk in. If you put your head down on the ground, you might as well come right back up. There's no space to walk your hands. All right, legs strong, arms straight, walk in from that position. Um, that's the best way to learn how to do this posture. Walk as far as you can and work on walking in deeper each time. Namaste, yogis. Clean it up.